Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. We got a lot to get into, let's get straight into it. So in yesterday's video, I was telling you guys about how Jania Michelle and Devin Haney have officially decided to call it quits. I guess there was some trust issues in their relationship where Devin Haney just couldn't trust Jania Michelle going out and partying or whatever. And it seems like Devin Haney's true colors definitely show towards Jania Michelle. Like a lot of her fans were speculating that was going to happen because he was calling Janine Michelle a bird and saying that she was for the streets just saying some really messed up things about her yesterday on Instagram well once all of this drama was posted onto the shade room teens Pooh Shiesty decided to comment under the Shade Room's post and said that Jania Michelle was in his DMs too. Well, not too long after that, Jania decided to clap back and she posted to her Insta story proof of her being in Pooh Shiesty's DMs, but it was all the way in September. Well, once these alleged comments by Pooh Shiesty was posted, he decided to respond to this whole situation on his Insta story and he was like, that's cap, I ain't say that lame stuff. I don't even know that girl where did this come from so basically he's confused and obviously either these photos were you know photoshopped or he was hacked but the funny thing about it is Jania kind of told on herself because she posted those pictures so we know that she actually did DM Pooh Shiesty and if she would have just held on a little longer before she responded she could have let Pooh Shiesty respond first and none of us would have actually thought that she actually DM Pooh Shiesty but now we know that she actually did but hey she probably doesn't even care now yesterday she did go on instagram live to talk about her and devin haney's breakup and about the guys that she meets and how she will just fall so quick for the guys and think that the guys are actually you know caring about her or interested in her when in actuality they're just dating her because she's young boys baby mother and when you think about it it is kind of sad because it's almost like she's saying she can't have a normal dating life guys are just dating her because she is a young boys baby mother and this takes me all the way back to one of her old videos where she was crying and she was super emotional and she was saying that she wished you know she was just normal and that she didn't have all the fame and if you guys haven't seen that video i will have it linked in my description below but needless to say maybe this is just showing jania that she doesn't need to be dating right now you know maybe she should just let the right person come to her and just focus on you know her child and her business and getting money and everything like that and definitely definitely let the guy ask you out first if what Devin Haney said is true she was the first one to try to initiate having a relationship mm, girl no that's not the way to go let the guy ask you I don't know maybe it's possible but look how it backfired on her and now he's bringing this up like it was something so horrible about her but anyways the best of luck to her let's move on into Pooh Shiesty while we're talking about Pooh Shiesty because in the midst of all of this drama that he was going on in the middle of Jania's drama, he had his own stuff going on. Because yesterday, a woman alleged that she was laid up with Pooh Shiesty. She posted a video onto her Snapchat of her rubbing on, allegedly, Pooh Shiesty's chest. And on his neck, you can see 1017 chains and you can see tattoos on his arm. Well, once this video started to go viral, of course, Pooh Shiesty decided to shut down the rumors and he said no internet can tell who he's sleeping with so he's basically saying that he was not with this young lady this girl was also alleging that Pooh Shiesty bought her a AP she was like thanks for the AP daddy now a lot of Pooh Shiesty's fans could already tell that this was not true that wasn't actually Pooh Shiesty because one those didn't look like his 1017 chains if you look at the picture on the screen carefully you can see that the zeros are different and if you look at the video that I will have playing right here on the screen, you can see that Pooh Shiesty's tattoos are not the same as on the video. So that definitely wasn't Pooh Shiesty. And child, I don't know why people are trying to involve Pooh Shiesty's name in so much drama. I mean, it doesn't even seem like Pooh Shiesty be in a lot of drama, but he definitely took to Instagram Live yesterday and said that people need to leave him alone and leave his name out of stuff. He never wrote that comment about 
Janine Michelle and he definitely wasn't in the bed with that other girl who was trying to say that she was laid up in the bed with him so Pusherty said just keep me out of it child he said that he don't like the shade room and he don't like say cheese and that's a little harsh to say on Instagram live towards those blog pages but look to each his own he don't like them he don't like them anyways let's move on into our last topic which is basically going to be CJ so cool versus I am Zo. so we all know how Zo does his messy Mondays every Monday and uploads it to YouTube basically talking about all the current news that's going on with YouTubers or celebrities and in this recent messy Monday he was talking about CJ so cool and what happened to his family everything that went on with that whole situation like a lot of other bloggers have been doing and in Zoe's messy Monday he basically played a clip of CJ so cool's live basically when he was talking about you know royalty and asking why she's not talking about the whole family and Zoe basically told him he was like look the kids made you they made the channel without the kids you know you're not really that popping well I guess when CJ so cool seen this or when fans sent it to him he got very upset so he decided to jump on Instagram live and try to go on so questioning who or what Zo was which I felt like was very messed up and saying that Zo shouldn't be talking about him and he's just trying to use his name for clout and get money off of saying CJ so cool's name now a lot of fans was in the comments of the shade room team and they were like look CJ so cool Zoe is not the one he's not the one you want to play with he's not the one you want to go on because he is not going to have it and in his next messy Monday I'm pretty sure he's going to be throwing a lot of shade and needless to say a lot of Zoe's fans definitely had his back and I was proud to see that honestly these days I feel like CJ so cool is just feeling himself a little bit too much especially given the fact that he just cheated on royalty and yes now it does seem like he's trying to make things better with her and honestly like I said in my last video I feel like she's fallen into it too early she needs to at least give it some time before she gets back with him you know if she is going to get back with him but honestly I have to say I kind of feel like this was a part of CJ so cool and royalty's plan I feel like they had been planning to break up they just probably didn't want to be together anymore but they said hey for the views and stuff let's do this let's plan this out you know it'll get a lot of views it will go viral like it actually did and you guys know that he's signing under the same label that signed 6ix9ine now mind you 6ix9ine trolls the internet a lot so how do we know that CJ so cool is just not doing the same thing I don't know I don't trust it anyways you guys definitely let me know your comments about these three situations in the comments below once again my lovely TTs thank you so much for watching Tease Room make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so you're notified every time I upload and I will see you in my next video.